guide to streaming. Everything you do is public, and you gotta be careful with what you click on. But we're back, and let's go. Cheer now to be number one. Let's try this. Weekly top cheers. Oh. And this is what it says G2O. It's a general framework for graph optimization. But we're going to write our own version of it. Nodes and edges of a graph. So I suspect that under the hood, G2O is just turning things into large matrices. Factor this a little bit. Move all the shit out to here. So we'll pass in frames and points and fixed points. That sounds pretty good. Self.frames. Local frames if fixed points. Else self.frames. Is that right? this up here.
F not in local frames. If fixed points, else self dot frames. Okay, so we might actually need the local frame logic here. We might just get rid of the self. And the local window probably actually belongs in the optimizer. I don't like this. So there's another way to do this, right? You don't actually have to pass in the frames. We could just pass in the points and the frames will get added. Habla mas fuerte. Si! Rapido, fuerte, caliente, no entiende. Fuerte está, no conozco. That's that's my high school Spanish for you, bros. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that was the one I was actually running it in. Exciting. No oh, bullshit. The local window is not defined. Uh, let's see. Well, no, nah, because I use that. No bueno. I'm gonna have to pass in max frame. Okay, my. Oh, see, I don't like this. Ah. No. Okay, we have to think this through better. Let's try again. What did I say I'd do tomorrow? That's something said I'd do tomorrow. I'd probably lied though. Investigate if we need keyframes. Oh, we were going to talk about keyframes. Bu Hao Chung Win. Ying Win? Guela, 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 Guela. Yi, Er, San, Si, Wu, Leo. That's all my Chinese, guys. Okay, so if we're actually gonna do this, let's think this through more. We shouldn't just write this shit. 
Okay. Mm, how ma? Yo, bro. What up? You guys should cheer. So if we really did have an optimize here. Yo, come get, yo, just uh, post in a... Whatever this is, you can cheer and I get money. Weekly top cheerers. New Tom Cruise, cheer your way to the top. Yes. Learn those sequels, bros. Well, so here's a thing to kind of think about. What properties do these things really have? Just frames and whether they're fixed or not. And we don't want to add a frame to the graph if it has no points. I mean, that's the other way to do this, right? Like, I could actually just insert the points at each. Taylor Swift is a lovely girl. But if we listen to her music, we'll get a copyright strike. The optimizer, and we are going to need oh, something like we don't really need K. I wonder if it'll work better if I pass in the points as. Does that work? I just pass in a null camera matrix? And we can try that. So like we're using KPUs, right? We, we can use KPs. And then we can, for the camera, so this is not alt. So we can just pass in, you know, 1100. Zero, zero. Let's see how that works. Press in a uh, verbose the optimizer. No, we have work. Works later. This is twitch time. Yeah, you know, look, the errors are much, much smaller. I, I don't know if that's better or not. They actually look identical. It's just on a different scale. Well, 
Alright, so maybe that'll be the new way we do things. We will pass in the KPUs, um, and we'll get rid of this, and then we don't need the K anymore. What? When creating a class, don't extend from object? But, is that bad? Oops. No, no, not there, no. Python 3 class. You just want me to write that? Save your ATP. I don't know what that means. Wow. Okay, is the optimizer better? I mean, I just saw the error get really low, but no, it's fucked. No, it's like, just go to new room. No, no, it's bad. Okay. Well, let's see if alt works. Should I get rid of alt? I really don't think it does anything different at all. the error go down. Okay, well either way, think about it in terms of that is probably better. Um, then we can move the optimizer to here. We'll put these guys up here. I don't know why G2O really does want you to put the camera in it. So what if I say for ID, ID pose fixed in frame. Mm. That's a little annoying. Like, okay, then I'm going to need my own representation of the points. This whole local window thing is annoying, but maybe that is a parameter to the optimizer. Putting back should probably be outside of the optimizer. No, okay, so that's all moved. Graph frames, graph points. Yeah, that's fine. That's all part of the GTO shit. Had the frame to graph, that's all right. to frame, add edges.
Okay, now that's the thing here. We don't really want to... The problem is we don't have a good way of indexing them. We just have this array. Frames are all still in order, at least. But we don't have, like, an index array. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, actually, this isn't that bad. See, I don't want to put the frames back here. I want to, like, pass that just to the optimizer, right? So this, you know what, first off, this alt crap is stupid. I'm not maintaining this anymore. I'd like to refactor it even better than this, though. I'm still like passing in these arbitrary stupid frames and points classes. This could work. I don't know. We can get rid of this, and we can get rid of this. The problem is that error then doesn't have as much meaning. That's okay. I got you, the error was kind of shitty anyway, because like, okay, what did that even mean? Like two pixels? So that's gonna change the color, but that's fine. From optimize G2L well, import optimize as optimize G2L. Well. Yeah, I gotta love it. Alright, cool. Oops. Self dot frames, self dot points, local window. Oh, we have to pass in fixed points. Uh, fix points, fix points, verbose. The problem is, like, this pruning is bad. We should put the pruner here. after the optimizer. Alright guys, I, I need you to cheer or do whatever happens on Twitch so I can make money. 
Because otherwise, you know, like, who's going to fund these Twitch streams? That's right. Twitching's not free, you know? Somebody's got to pay for the bandwidth. We might just have to lower the stream quality. That's right. Someone's got to pay for that. I'm the same age as Taylor Swift. That's pretty true. Type ID. Oh, did I mess up my refactor or something? Did I mess up troll mods? Did I do my troll mods wrong? Not that edge. Bad. Project XYZ UV. STD bad type ID. Uh. Oh, oh, wait. So did I, did I go with the alt one or not the alt one? I wanted to not the alt one and deleted the camera parameter thing, and that's why it's complaining. I think I went with the alt one. Guys, I'm terrible. You guys can't see either. Oh, I'm really terrible. I'm sorry, Twitchies. I know I've let you down. I know this is why nobody donates to my channel and I'm poor. Where's oh. the bitchin'? So S is just not what it used to be. Let's say this P dot point there. Let me make that just a class thing. Uh, oh, wait, I already did that. Wow, I'm dumb. This is literally already exactly that function. Great minds think alike, you know? off the stupid optimizer. Yeah, donate. Come on. Oh, G Hassani. Yeah, yo, bro. I don't know what that is, but I think that means I get money. I love money, guys. Money's one of my favorite things in the world. Ah, uh, you know... I love money. All right. Refactor out optimizer. I did say we we're going to try to write our own optimizer today. And uh, yeah, we're going to. Taylor Swift is building a giant wall. All right, guys. Should we be real on this channel? No, I don't know if we could be real on this channel. No, no, no. We can't be real. We can't be real. No one gave me no money yet. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. I got money from two people. Is that money? I don't even know. Guys, how does Twitch work? 
How does Twitch money work? Ah, ah, perfect. Thanks for watching Tech Quickie. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't oh, miss They're really videos. shilling hard. Would it be to stream? How much could you reasonably expect to make? And just where does all this money come from, anyway? So here we go. You're a smaller time Twitch streamer. We'll focus on Twitch since they're a market leader right now. You're just getting started, and through a combination of good gameplay, entrancing charisma, and devilishly good looks, you've built up a small base of viewers. Congratulations. If you've got up to 50 followers, you can become a Twitch affiliate. Which at some point Oh, he sent me a pyramid! I don't know what that shit means. But that typically isn't much money in the grand scheme of things. Much more important is that it gives you additional monetization options. Ah. One of the most significant ones being subscriptions. subscriptions. On Twitch, subscriptions work a little differently than they do on sites like YouTube. Although streams are free to view, some fans choose to subscribe to streamers that they like. Ah. Which not only supports the streamer financially, but gives the subscriber perks like special emoji and badges for use in the chat room, as well as the ability to watch streams without any Twitch advertisements. So at the time of writing, Twitch subscriptions cost between five and twenty-five US dollars per month, wow. depending on how much the viewer wants to pay. With that money being split half-half between the streamer and the Twitch platform, and viewers can also purchase what are called bits, which are essentially animated. All right, guys, this is not good content. We have to show good content on this channel. We are going to be a number one thousand Twitch channel. I, I don't understand. Yeah, no, they of course it is, man. Like, you know, let me tell you something. I used to be a cam girl, um, and yeah, you have to let you buy these like my free cam dollars. Um Yeah, rice, well you know. Um send a carrier pigeon. No, I, no 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 no. We're, we're gonna be we're gonna be good guys. We're gonna write good quality shit. Um Okay. Well so this mean is now wrong. Because this is in terms of... I don't know what a good error function actually is there. Should we do something like just call a certain amount of points? Or if the error is greater than 0, 0, 0, 0 or something? I don't know. It seems pretty good. Oh, why is the dash cam so expensive? Because we love money. If we didn't love money, it would be cheaper, but we love money. That's the problem. Uh, but we're really not just talking self-driving cars. On this channel, we talk about slam, and we're about to write Levenberg Marquats. Fix error for normalized. You know, the scrolling's backwards on this computer, so then when I go to normal computers, I'm confused. Okay, so let's think about the problem. We have frames, we have points, and we want to determine relationships between them. So my guess is what this actually becomes is a really big oh hell yeah Quilford yeah yo I, I have seen I have seen people do this before so like I know how to like I watch I you know what I watch on Twitch I watch a uh, Mario sixty four one hundred twenty star speed runs um and yeah yo okay by the way is anyone there going to oh another pyramid man is anyone going to the CVPR? Because uh, I'm thinking about going. If I make enough money on Twitch to afford my CVPR trip. That's my dream, man. Send me to CVPR. I know it's not like super good games done quick or whatever, but, but CVPR, bro. Make enough money to send me to CVPR. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. We have to focus on content quality. We can't just come on Twitch and talk about how we want money. That's not good quality content. Neither is saying that, so that's a problem. I'll be right back, Richies. You want to support from Trump? Oh, well, I don't know about that.
what we want to do is we want to take this reprojection error and we want to make it into like a flat matrix, which I think we can do, right? Like we can just flatten it out. It's a three by, F dot pose, P dot homogenous, right? Let's turn this fan off so I can make better. I won't turn the light off. And it's really thinking time. Right, it's really thinking time now. No, bro. We don't live stream hacking. That'll get too many viewers. Um. Okay, we gotta think about what we wanna do. I, I don't know about Levenberg Marquardt, but we were looking at, let's go to iBooks here. I was looking here at uh, Applied Linear Algebra. Least squares. So it is, it's a least squares format. Suppose that an M by M matrix is A tall, so that the system of linear equations is overdetermined. So we're gonna need an overdetermined system of linear equations. Yeah, I mean, I think I could just stack the poses and stack the points, can I? But the real game is, so okay, we have to figure out what we want to optimize and we have to put it in the format of least squares. Somehow, G2O is doing this such that Oh, I know it's non-linear least squares too, which is even worse. Somehow they're doing it such that the pose and the points get optimized. You see what I'm saying? But this is really, so right here is actually all the things we need to optimize. So let's just comment this out for now. This is what it looks like when we don't use an optimizer at all. Wow, it sadly looks similar. <laughs> well, no, now it breaks. Now it breaks because we're going that way, but cool. Build opt matrix. sub three p dot homogeneous well but like that's okay we want to simultaneously solve for all of these projection equations now we could optimize each point independently in terms of least squares but that wouldn't jointly optimize the poses and the uh, points at the same time like I'm really I'm really just not sure how to do this right do, do I write out two matrices and like like ping pong kind of back and forth? I mean, maybe that's what it does. Damp least squares is used to solve nonlinear least squares problems. It seems like a generic way to solve nonlinear least squares problems. Like. You see the problem, like, it would try two matrices. Like, I could put the pose. <sighs> okay, maybe maybe the G2O papers talk about this. So it's hard. I know, I know I have to make the papers bigger so you guys can read them. This example illustrates how to represent an objective function by a graph. 
Yeah, I don't doubt I could write an objective function. I mean, okay, so maybe that's just the idea. Maybe first we just write an objective function. And then afterward, we figure out how to optimize that. I mean, the, the whole objective function I want to optimize is just this, but like spread out a lot more. Right, so. What is what function? Okay, let's say I put my points over there and we want to make this thing equal to zero, right? So we'll stack, we'll stack all my points in one large vector. Stack all points in large vector. use like Python debugger there. Uh, well, that's great. Thanks, Broski. Oh, because my pose optimizer. Yeah, we'll turn this off for now. I know we don't have to turn it off. We'll just use the ground truth. We can also get rid of that thing about ground truth being broken because I fixed it. Oh, but that's not right. Oh, I didn't even fix that. Wow, the documentation is not up to date, bros. Submit a pull request. Okay, that's good. So this is a beautiful, a beautiful long vector of points, which is all the points in our system. Now, Okay, so we want to minimize projection minus UV. Which, that I'm not exactly sure how to do. Like, how do I subtract UV? Or do I want to put the UVs over there somehow? PDB, yeah, 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 I know. Um. Okay, we kind of have we kind of have three things, right? We kind of have the map points, the points, and the frames. There's probably some clever thing that we can do to put like two of them together, but I don't see it off the top of my head. I mean, if we didn't want to optimize the poses, it would be pretty easy. What kind of object is UV? So UV is just the U and the V. It's just two numbers. It's the, it's the coordinate in the image. I mean, in this case, the normalized coordinate in the image, right? So, and we could do all those projections, right? We can project the point according to the pose. And we would expect that to equal UV. Okay, so that could just be... I mean, hang on. So let's see what a least squares function looks like. Then. Minimize... Okay, 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 okay. So you have this matrix system. A times X equals B. So I think B is actually just all the actual UVs stacked, all right? So, you know, UVs, UVs got append UV. You can say B 
equals UVs empty array UVs dot flat. Oh, you can't see the PDF? Sorry. It's just that. All I'm looking at is that. Okay, so that's all the UVs when they're flattened. So now we need a matrix times a vector that will get us that. Which, well, ah, this term. And this is the term that makes it nonlinear. Watch the ads for two bits. Yeah, bro. I don't even know how to watch ads, but um, oh man, I'm loving that scoreboard. I love Twitch. Uh, let's see. So, God, there's this problem too. There's the problem of this stupid nonlinearity here. This is not actually a linear system. There's no way to really make this a linear system either. Warp Slam talks briefly about what they do for linearization, but the stupid divided by is not linear, bros. Like, there's no way I can just write this as a matrix equation. We insert all vectors in the data. Bro, I don't even know what you talk about sometimes. Okay, linear least squares, derivation of the normal equations. Yeah, this is actually how you do least squares, but I'm just talking about setting up the problem. I mean, okay, you know what? Let's just use scipy. Least squa. No, 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 there's another scipy. There's also scipy least squares. This one. Okay. Function which computes the vector of residuals, right? So actually, I think this is much easier than I think. I think we just actually have to do this. Um, okay. Um, scipy optimize import b squares. Oh, this is actually really easy. Because now I know like, exactly what I want to write. Okay. So, what we want to do is least squares fun b. b is my target, right? And now I just need to write the equation that generates that. So I don't actually need to do the projection here. That just builds the UV matrix. And then for fun, minimize f of x. Well, so then there's a question of like exactly what I'm trying to optimize. I don't, I don't know what x is yet, but we'll get to that in a minute. For now, we just want, basically want to write this. Ret turn crotch return mp dot array ret dot flatten right. So given the residuals f of x, minimize f of x subject to some crap. Okay, and this least squares fun b right. Get target residuals. Compute residuals. And we can figure out how to make that faster probably too. Let's try that. Okay. 
fun takes zero positional arguments, but one was given. See, that's what I don't understand. Okay, so that's an initial guess. Well, oh, okay. Um, I think we actually just, oh, well, first off, it's not flatten, it's flatten, minus B. We don't actually need B there, we need X here, right? And then what is X? Well, what if I just, yeah, okay, so I guess that thing I was doing with the points is kind of right. What if I just put the points there in terms of X? Instead of points homogeneous, yeah, okay. Um, so get point location guesses. This is only going to optimize the points, guys. Um, so we'll call this x0 because it's a guess, right? And then that's what we pass into there. So instead of saying p dot homogeneous, let's say for ip enumerate self dot points, we're gonna say x sub i times four i times uh, i plus one times four, right? Try that. X is not defined, yes, because it's x zero. Wow. Oh. oh. Well. <laughs> oh, oh, it worked eventually. It just took 27 years. It returns something kind of absurd. It's a little absurd looking, don't you think? I don't know. Actually, what was X zero? But that should optimize all the points, right? The only problem is right now we're leaving the poses as fixed. Oh, and those poses are really crappy. Why are those poses so crappy? Oh, we're using RPI. Oops. Not use RPI. Which is actually, this is actually okay that we're just doing this because we have the ground truth poses. Um, okay, 27 years, great. I mean, there's probably a way to not make it take 27 years. Squares this vector of residuals. Function of shape n never scale your values. Well, I must return a one D array for shape m. That's okay. That's right. You know what? Let's just say verbose equals one and see what we get. Yeah, I know. I know all about Taylor, bro. No, oh, we can do even better because if we're both equal to two, we can see what's going on. What a scam. slow. I thought I passed in verbose equal to 2. Am I using the LM method? Oh, LM. Is that Levenberg Marquat? Oh, Levenberg Marquat. 
Doesn't handle Bounds and Sparse Jacobians. Trust Region Reflective Algorithm. What's up, little Cowtum? Whatever. Oh my god. This is taking forever. Look at how slow this is taking. Oh no, I have a phone call today. Oh, it did an iteration. Great. I have to do a phone call at noon, bros. This is so slow. Oh, good. I own Tesla. Love making money, bros. Love money. Okay, I see why that's slow. Probably work on making that function faster. Linear. Oh, soft L1. Oh, Huber loss. Oh, love Huber loss. Oh, that's great. Let's use Huber loss. Maybe that'll work better. That'll be good to outliers, right? Except it still takes forever. Um, how can I make this not take forever? Well, I think I can stack all those poses, right? Stack poses. I feel like verbose equals two made things just take way too long. Or maybe it has more frames. Kill all Python by that Python. Kill all Python. Oh my god. It's brutal. I'm not even do that now. Do you have to minus nine it, really? Just in time, bro. You almost got minus nine. Okay. Nineteen oh one times four. No, that's not right. I think I actually want to concatenate them on this axis. Three. Yeah. And then we'll multiply that. Okay, so then in order to get losses, I can say np dot poses x zero. Exactly want to do that, right? No, I don't think no path and optimizer like that. Okay. So the problem is that some of these appear in multiple frames, and we only want to let the optimizer alter them in one kind of way. Um I mean, okay, I can certainly fix that with a linear. That's just linear. Big linear, I guess. Uh, I'm using SciPy for, yeah, for optimization. I mean, whew, okay. Well. Okay, we only want that to be a function for each point. We want the frames to be I 
I mean, we could, okay, we could create like a huge, I don't want a house, bro. We could create like a huge matrix, right? That might be the way to do this. That's probably what G2O does, right? Like we create this massive matrix where there's only like five frames. So I'm saying like we put like a frame there if it's valid and the f all five frames can get multiplied by the point. Well, no, but that's not exactly right either because, oh guys, life is so hard. I know that one's correct. It's just really slow. really slow. So I don't actually want any money. I don't care. I just like the idea of making money, you know? Doesn't that sound fun? Sounds like something to do. Love having things to do. a better way to phrase this problem all right guys I gotta go to work we'll think about this tomorrow um, we'll create a branch get checkout we'll call it G three no no what should we name the optimizer um, Eh, who knows what your net worth is. Startups are either worthless or worth billions, right? You gotta call it something. Twitch opt. Whenever we can call things Twitch, it's good. I wish I could earn $100 million from Twitch, man. Twitch opt. Oh, but like, readme should go to the other one, too. I don't know. One more Twitch opt is a piece of shit. All right, good. Go work today, guys. Go work today. Let's push this to origin. We're going to write a custom optimizer. Um, we're going to really continue on this more uh, next time, like tomorrow, when we're back on Twitch, live streaming with all you bros. All right. All right. Later, Twitchies. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.